In this article, Uncle Bob complains about the never-ending quest for creating the ultimate language and framework. We see all these languages and frameworks that exactly do the same thing with some minor differences. For example, if you compare the Spring MVC in Java with .NET MVC in, frame and in C Sharp, and also with Django in Python, you will find out almost they are identical. Or even inside a single community and language like Java, you can find several tools for each responsibility. Uncle Bob boils down the reason of this chaos and competing for providing the ultimate framework to our belief in the magic. It seems that we don't want to learn about the origins of frameworks and try know why they have come to existence and what problems do they try to solve. And we are only hoping that someday someone by some new tool will show up and do everything on our behalf. Uncle Bob at the middle of the article recommends that it's a good habit for programmers to learn some assembly to program the CPU directly because he thinks it helps them to destroy the illusion of magic. He suggests that if, uh, for example, programmers try to write a tiny web server with some limited DI capabilities, they won't look at tools and frameworks in that subject such as Spring, like a magic wound or miracle, and they might even come to conclusion not to use them. He insists that by using a framework, uh, we are committing ourselves to tool and their authors. I want to read the conclusion part of the article for you. He says, never buy magic. Before you commit to a framework, make sure you could write it. Do this by actually writing something simple that does the basics that you need. Make sure the magic all goes away. And then look at the framework again. Is it worth it? Can you live without it? So in the case of a spring and its inner frameworks like dependency injection, AOP, web MVC, GPA, sorry, JPA, spring security, and etc. By following this uh, simple rule, we will try to get rid of the uh, rose colored lenses and be realistic and conscious about each tool's reason of being. We will try to learn about what problems do they solve. We will try to learn how they work internally and feel the power of uh, being able to write a simple tool ourselves. And we will uh, keep our options open by not committing and, pulling, and polluting ourselves and projects to these tools as much as possible.